Hey everyone, you are watching Everything I Like Gets Cancelled, a show in which I talk about things from my childhood or not so distant past that have been cancelled, discontinued, or are now otherwise unavailable. In episode one, I talked about the show Reunion, which was a TV show that got cancelled back in 2005 after only about seven episodes. In this episode today, I am actually talking about a physical place. It was a location that meant a lot to me and also meant a lot to other 90s kids all over the country. And this place is, I'm gonna say it, it's frankly, it is one of a kind. I don't think it can ever be replaced. I don't think there's ever going to be another location like this. And the place that I'm talking about is Discovery Zone. So what is Discovery Zone? A lot of videos on YouTube detail the history of Discovery Zone, who founded Discovery Zone, what the purpose of it was, and that's really not the point of this video. The point is just for me to talk about what I liked about Discovery Zone and what I remember about it, but I will do a quick overview about what Discovery Zone is if you are not a 90s kid and you don't remember what Discovery Zone is or maybe you've never even heard of it. Uh, basically Discovery Zone was an indoor play center so it was kind of comparable to Chuck E. Cheese but it is actually nothing like Chuck E. Cheese and I am going to explain why. Discovery Zone was kind of like taking the best playground you've ever found outside and putting it inside in a place where your kids can just kind of run around and go crazy and blow off steam for about a half hour to hour increments of time. It was something that, again, as a kid, a lot of people compared it to Chuck E. Cheese, but in my opinion, Chuck E. Cheese was game heavy and not very attraction heavy in the sense of their obstacle course attraction and their ball pit attraction at Chuck E. Cheese is actually a very small component of Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese mostly had games and that's fine. But for me as a kid, I really liked the attraction side of things. So I love Discovery Zone. I actually liked it more so than Chuck E. Cheese. Discovery Zone had so many things that Chuck E. Cheese simply didn't have. They had a ball pit, yes, but Discovery Zone ball pit was huge. It had a climbing structure inside the ball pit, which is something that Chuck E. Cheese didn't have. It had an obstacle course inside it that was several stories high that was basically accessible through a series of tunnels and tubes, and sometimes you would even get lost in them because the indoor play area was so large. And after several times of going to the same attraction and the same location of discovery zone you began to feel really cool if you knew how to get out of the tubes like you were in the know even though you just hadn't been there maybe two or three times there were nets to climb on that were rubber and you when you climbed up them you felt like spider-man there were slides all over the place one big slide actually that I do want to stop to elaborate was it was a fun slide but it also was a slide of doom in a way because the slide itself was made up of tubes that were rainbow colored so you would be going down the slide and instead of being maybe like a single sheet of plastic it was just a series of rolling tubes and so you have to be careful not to put your hands down directly on the slide because it would clip your, your fingers. Or I, I wanna say if you had long hair, it might have even taken that back. It was, it was a perilous slide and it was like one of those like bumpy slides. It was something else. And even though it was painful, you had to go on it. I think that was the only way to get out of the obstacle course part of Discovery Zone was going down that huge slide. There were balance beams. There was a zip line. And I'm going to be honest and say that I was always a very cautious child. So I only remember going on the zip line once. 
And that one time, um, I just immediately let go as soon as I was on the zip line and I just fell into the ball pit. Um, I was just too scared. But there was a zip line in the discovery zone. So a uh, big part about the show is I talk about what I remember from Discovery Zone. I have a lot of hazy memories from Discovery Zone. Discovery Zones all close by around 2001, 2002. Um, and at that point, I was about nine or 10. And even at that time, I kind of had stopped going to Discovery Zone several years prior. So all of these memories from Discovery Zone are coming at me from like 20 to 25 years ago. But I do remember some things, actually like three specific things very, very clearly about Discovery Zone. One thing I remember about Discovery Zone are the birthday parties. Discovery Zone used to be a really cool place to have a birthday party. I believe I had about two birthday parties at Discovery Zone, and I went to a handful of others from friends and classmates over the years. So the birthday parties were structured in the way where if I'm remembering correctly, everyone would arrive at a designated time. You indicated you were part of the birthday group. Um, they would kind of go over some ground rules. I believe there were some like rules about things you were specifically not supposed to climb. And then they would let you inside the indoor play area and obstacle course. They gave you about a half hour to an hour of just kind of like free play and roaming around of the indoor obstacle course play area. And then after that, they would take you into this room. It was like a party room and you would go in and they would serve you pizza and fruit punch. And I believe in later years, they would serve you soda. But I distinctly remember as about a five to six year old, they did not have soda there. Uh, but eventually they did get soda. And then after that, they would serve cake and then it would be time to do presents, which is always exciting. And then after that, they gave you about a half hour to go into their arcade. So as I kind of said earlier in the video, a big draw of Discovery Zone wasn't so much the arcade, but an arcade was there. And they kind of had all the classic games. They had, you know, racing games, you know, ski ball, et cetera, et cetera. And then after that, it was kind of time to leave the party. So a typical party there would last about two to, but one party I specifically remember was I was about eight at this time and it was not one of my birthdays it was a birthday of a friend and I was a very accident prone child so I'm very surprised that I never got seriously injured maybe this is a knock on wood moment at the discovery zone um, but one part of the discovery zone that I loved was there was a series of purple rubber interconnected nets that you could climb through. And I believe to do the obstacle course, you had to climb through them to the top of the nets because there was a tunnel at the top of the nets that kind of led you through the rest of the obstacle course. And I remember this particular birthday party um, that I attended, I had almost reached the top of the net. And I remember I kind of slipped and I kind of fell backwards. And it was a moment of, I was like, I was a very dramatic kid too, and I still am kind of dramatic. And I remember I was like, I'm falling. And I felt like I was falling through the air. I was probably only falling one foot, if that, um, because these nets really weren't that high up in the grand scheme of things. And, but then I kind of fell back into this, this net and the net caught me. And it was like, kind of like a rubberized net. So it like caught me and then like, I like sprung backwards and I was able to uh, get to the top eventually. Um, so it's like a little moment of peril that I uh, persevered through it. Another thing I remember about Discovery Zone, which is not really Discovery Zone specific, but is something I wanted to touch on, was I felt like every time I visited Discovery Zone, a few days later, like I would be enduring some like weird medical ailment or I would just be like sick. And I remember this one time, I, uh, it was winter time, and I went to a birthday party at Discovery Zone, and then about three or four days later, so I'm not gonna say it's related to the Discovery Zone, it, I could have gotten sick from anywhere, but about three days later, I woke up and I had the worst eye infection ever. Like I, I had pink eye, I believe, and my eyes were just like so like in pain, and they were like puffy and inflamed, and it was, it was horrible. And I think, especially for kids, it's like hard to know 
like as an adult when you get sick you're like oh this is all right I just need to take medicine but for kids everything is like just so dramatic and like horrible and it's like why is this happening to me um and it's like you, you know you can't really make sense of why your eyes are like swollen shut and you know why you're in so much pain um but a lot of people and I've been doing some research online a lot of people said that the ball pits in discovery zone were dirty and I'm gonna say like from my experience I I don't think they were cleaned regularly because I remember a specific other time not even the time I just talked about but another time I was in the ball pit and I found someone's bracelet um, and I turned it into lost and found so I really hope they found it this is about 22 years in the future but I really hope that the person who lost their bracelet recovered their bracelet um, but yeah, the balls definitely in the pit were not cleaned um, regularly. And I've heard a lot of horror stories online from people who worked in different indoor play places that had ball pits who were like, oh yeah, like I found some really weird things in the ball pit. Like it's definitely not clean to go in there. So anyway, despite possible cleanliness items as a kid it still was extremely fun to go in the ball pit that's actually a good segue into the third thing i really remember from discovery zone as a kid which was I, discovery zone was always changing at least that's how i kind of remember it um in the sense of something you really really liked when you went to the discovery zone, when you went back six months later for another birthday party, something would change. And so even before discovery zone started to shut down, there was um, something, a feature in the discovery zone that I went to that I really liked, which was in the main ball pit of the indoor playground section of discovery zone, there was a series of interconnected tubes that, um, were kind of set up with all of these fans inside of them and basically the tubes had these openings where you were encouraged to like kind of like pick balls from the ball pit and put them in the tubes and then um, the fans that were rigged inside the tubes would kind of like push the balls through the tubes um, up top and up through the ceiling and the ceiling of the main ball pit in my discovery zone was clear and there were all these markings on the ceiling and all these openings where it's like oh is the ball going to come out here is it going to come out here so basically all of these you know plastic balls were kind of suspended above everyone and they would eventually come to an opening in the ceiling and they were being pushed everywhere by all these fans that were also up in the ceiling and you had to guess with your friends like where the balls were going to come down and they would kind of like be falling everywhere and it added like a very like happy chaoticness to the whole thing well somewhere around when I was like eight or nine they took out that tube system so it was no longer possible to push the balls like through up into the ceiling and I also remember that not only did they have the tube system they also had and this part was kind of scary because I didn't like clowns had a giant kind of like clown head in the corner of the ball pit and its mouth was open and with the goal of you were supposed to take balls from the ball pit and throw it at the clown and if you got it into its mouth it would again push it up to the ceiling and then it would like rain back down onto you and they took that out so they took the tubing system out first so you could only get it into the clown and then like a year later they took out the clown so, but, and that was the weirdest part because the, the ceiling was the same. So you could look up and you could see that the ceiling was designed for the balls in the ball pit to like come down onto you, but you couldn't get them up there anymore. So it was something that I remember being very, very upset in a small child way when they made that change. Um, but that was only a small fraction of my mood dampened by being in discovery zone where the rest of the time i was just thrilled when i was doing some preliminary research before this video i saw online that discovery zone was owned at least in part by blockbuster 
which is a very interesting thing or just an interesting anecdote in my opinion because that's another thing from my childhood that is defunct and you can't get there anymore but from what i can remember um i know that discovery zone went bankrupt in the late 90s and then by the early 2000s there were no more discovery zones and i remember that's around the same time that i had already kind of stopped going to discovery zone but i do remember at the discovery zone i remember like the exact shopping center where it was when i was a kid um, i remember when it was being replaced and now i believe that in that shopping center it has been replaced the um the building itself is now um, a hibachi restaurant um, so th and that's good because i do like hibachi so there's that I've definitely been thinking a lot about things I used to like from my childhood and Discovery Zone is certainly up there. And it's something that I've been thinking a lot about, especially because you can still go to Chuck E. Cheese, you can still go to Dave and Buster's, but you know, you cannot go to Discovery Zone. There, there's no more. I thought, except when I was doing research for this, I saw that they just opened another Discovery Zone for the first time in years in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I did some research and basically this Discovery Zone, I looked online, it says Discovery Zone and it has some of the features that I remember from Discovery Zones of the past, but it didn't have all of them. So I didn't see a ball pit. Um, I didn't see several of the obstacle course features I like. So maybe it is Discovery Zone, maybe it's a play on Discovery Zone, maybe they're just trying to revamp Discovery Zone. I don't know, but there is a new Discovery Zone. The sad thing about all of that, though, is that that Discovery Zone opened in February of 2020, and then less than a month later, they had to shut down all operations due to safety concerns with COVID-19. Um, so like everything else, it is shut down for the safety of everyone, um, which makes a lot of sense, but um, I'm, you know, when it is safe to reopen again, I am eager kind of to see, I'm hoping that some 90s kids, maybe some former 90s kids that are now parents, take their kids there and do a comparison of what the new Discovery Zone is like versus the old Discovery Zone, because I would love some insider information about what the new Discovery Zone is like. Well, that was my episode two of everything i like gets canceled and it was all about the discovery zone do you remember discovery zone or did you like discovery zone or do you have any thoughts or feelings about discovery zone if you do i would love to hear from you please leave a comment in the comment section of this video right down there i would just love to see if anyone else has as any strong memories as i do about discovery zone and to just chat about this thing that you know it's it's so prevalent, I think, for millennials, but I don't know of many people other than us who have even, who even remember Discovery Zone. If you like this video, there is going to be more episodes coming. And if you enjoy the things I talk about, then maybe you would like other videos on my channel, you can subscribe with the subscribe button or you can just check out the videos that I'm going to be linking all around my face. So with that said, I hope everyone is doing well during this time and I will see you soon.